If you experience this window which is a black screen with the cursor or mouse pointer that means something is not right with your windows. So there would be multiple reasons why you can't see your desktop and you see instead this black screen with the cursor. So you can't do anything from this screen. So as I said there would be multiple reason for for this problem but the most probably in this video will try to fix by two ways the one is manually edit the registry shell and the second you might have installed a malware or corrupted application recently and we try to uninstall that application and try to fix by that way so the both functions are very useful the both methods are very useful and uh, i have seen the most people resolve the issues i i did myself by following those methods and uh, please uh, keep watching this video and we will try to resolve this error method So the first method press ctrl alt del on the same black screen which will bring you up this window and the press task manager at the bottom in the task manager go up top left and press on file and press run a new task in this video window remove whatever is there and type reg edit which is windows registry command press ok ok so you will see this registry editor window here and i always say whenever you trying to edit the registry you need to be very careful because every bit every setting you do here will affect your windows pc so you need to be very careful so uh, let's follow the steps here carefully first of all you need to expand either the double clicking or the arrow beside here the local machine and then in local machine there is a software in the software scroll down and go to the microsoft here and then in microsoft folder click on windows nt so it must be in the w's at the bottom so windows nt you can see here expand that then current version expand that and current version you need to see a folder name win logon so it start with the w also would be at the bottom win login and then click on it so at the right side you will see all the files inside this win login folder we need to find here a file name shell s h e l l shell and you can see here here is a file just double click this file and here you can see the value data is explorer.exe so if you have installed a malware or a some some infected application the first thing they do they change this value to something else which cause the problem at the startup or usually the black screen with the cursor cursor or some something else at the but the window won't start properly at, at the startup so make sure 
is always says explorer.exe so if it's something else you can just click backspace and type again exploreer.exe so once you change this shell to explorer.exe then press ok remember there is a no save button in registry editor so whatever you have done it won't ask you are you sure something like that it's changed and it's changed press ok and then you can close this one and close this task manager as well and restart your computer by pressing ctrl alt del and then from the bottom right corner click this restart wait for a few seconds while the computer is restarting And once it will restart you will see your login screen and once you log in you can see your desktop or all of your stuff but if you still not able to see you still see the black screen with the cursor that means the first first method didn't resolve your issue then we will go on and move on to the second method for resolving this issue for second method first we need to restart the windows in recovery mode so then press ctrl or del again and then press and hold shift key on your keyboard and then restart your computer don't lift your finger from the shift key keep holding it until you see this recovery screen then you can release the finger here press troubleshooting and then advanced options on this screen you can click at the bottom right start up settings and then we will restart the computer in safe mode by going this startup setting press restart here wait for a few seconds and here you can see enable safe mode which is number four so either press f4 key or number four on your keyboard which will restart your computer in safe mode once the computer started in the safe mode then press the windows key on your keyboard and type add or remove programs It will open the window of all apps and features and here all the programs which are installed on your computer listed here you can uninstall unwanted program or the one you think is you didn't install this one it's automatically got installed by downloading any file or something or you can sort by date here install date and then you can uninstall the most recent one the which is causing the issue so you can uninstall the most recent application and uh, because the problem might be because of that application once that application is uninstalled then you can close that window then go bottom at the windows and restart your computer so once the computer will restart i hope 
you will get your normal login screen and once you log in you will get to your desktop and your computer will start functioning fine if the both methods are still not working for you i want you to comment down below so we can find another method for you and try to resolve your issue please subscribe to my channel and press the press the like button if you like that video i will catch you up in the next video until then bye bye